Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you. I am Gulapsa, your mentor, and I welcome you back to another session of RBI 247, whereby today we will be discussing why any macroeconomic activity that happens in a developed nation, for example, US, have an impact on developing nations such as India. So our topic for today is how is accelerating US inflation impacting India? But before getting started, there are two pieces of information for you guys. We have already started with the live classes and for classes such as management, it has been started yesterday. If you have still not gone through the course, please go to our website, see the course and enroll for the same. Apart from that, if you have still not downloaded our app, you can do so by going on to the Google Play Store. Any of the exam related updates, live video sessions, monthly magazines, daily quizzes, topper strategies as well as past year papers are available on this app and this app is surely going to help you in your preparation journey. So let's get started. So the question is how is accelerating US inflation impacting India? Now if you are going through the news daily then you must have heard and read that the inflation in the US has been increasing exorbitantly. Similarly in developing nations as well for example India inflation has been increasing but the US consumer inflation has rose to a four decade high to a 40 years high at 9.1 percent and last month that is in the month of may 2022 it was 8.6 percent so what is being noticed is that month after month the inflation in the us has been increasing and now it has reached to a 40 year high of 9.1 percent and this increase in inflation has been adding pressure on the fed that is the central bank of the us to act more aggressively to slow rapid rapid price increases by increasing the inflation and tightening the monetary uh, policy in their economy and if you talk about the contributor the main reasons why the inflation has increased in the us then there are three major contributors the first is increase in the prices of gasoline we have seen that there has been an increase of 11.2 percent in the prices of gasoline and we all know the reasons behind why the prices of gasoline has been increasing it is because of the supply side disruptions because of the ongoing geopolitical tension that is of the ukraine russia war and apart from that there are other problems in the uh, global scenario which are resulting in a shortage of supply of oil and because countries especially the developed countries have imposed sanctions on russia so the entire pressure of supplying oil to the entire countries of the world is being put on the middle east eastern countries now this middle eastern countries have are getting more demand and the supply is limited which is resulting in exorbitant increase in the prices of crude oil and in case of us the gasoline the other major contributor is the house uh, housing inflation the shelter the shelter there has been an increase in inflation in the rent prices of the houses uh, in the case of US, we have seen that there's, there has been an increase of 0.6%. Now, this 0.6% increase in inflation in the rent of the houses might seem a very small number. But let me inform you, housing inflation is very important in the context of US because this housing inflation represents 40%, around 40% of the core CPI in US. And around 17 percent of the fed another policy another index known as the personal consumption expenditure price index and this is the index which is very much helpful for the federal for the fed for the fed of us right for the central bank of us to gauge the inflation as well as the macroeconomic situation the situation of the households in the us so what we can figure out here is that housing inflation, the, the, the contribution of house, housing in the core CPI is 40% and even a minuscule increase in the inflation in this segment represents a, uh, represents a very worrisome situation for the consumer in US. 
and the third major contributor to this high accelerating inflation in us is the food prices because of inflation in food prices the overall inflation has surpassed the 9% 9% rate and we all know the 9% is a very high rate and if this continues then there are chances of hyperinflation or runaway inflation and this has now become a worrisome situation for the entire country facing with inflation problem now if we talk about the core inflation part theek hai now let's talk about the core inflation now the core inflation which excludes the volatility in the food as well as the energy components has been increased by 5.9% over the last year so we have seen that uh, apart from food and energy that is the fuel there has still been an increase in inflation by 5.9% now this is a huge number and if we talk about last month that is month over month then last month in the month of may it was 6% so there is a minuscule decrease in the core inflation however the overall inflation is very high theek hai so i hope aapko ye samajh aa gaya hoga now let's talk about the impact of the increasing inflation on the us economy what impact has this inflation caused for the us citizens so as we all know the major impact that any inflation causes to any economy is that it erodes the savings wages as well as the profits of the company saving wages of the consumers and profits of the companies how does this happen how our savings are being eroded because because of inflation price uh, goods prices increases and as a result the purchasing power of a person or the company decreases and this eats down the eats down our savings as well as any income or profit now the second major impact of the increasing inflation is on the stock market we have seen that there has been a decrease there has been a decrease in the market prices of the stocks and there are major there are several reasons why we can say that an increase in inflation an increase in inflation can result in a decline decline in the market price i'm sorry decline in the market price of the stocks now the first now you must be thinking about how can an increase in inflation result in a decrease in the market price of the stock so let us discuss this first any increase in inflation as we all know the first thing that inflation does it it eats down our purchasing power if our purchasing power decreases then the investor who is investing in the stock market is able to purchase less number of stock for the same amount suppose pehle agar uske paas 100 rupees the and he was able to buy 100 stocks of 1 rupee each and because of inflation if now now he will be able to the price of the stock will increase right the price of the share will increase now the 1 rupee share is now being priced at 2 rupees to pehle jab usko 100 shares mil rahe the now for rupees 100 he will be getting only only and only 50 shares theek hai so since he is demanding less of the shares this will result this this will result in a less demand for the stock and due to the less demand of the stock the market prices the overall uh, value of the stock decreases theek hai ye hamara first reason ho gaya ki increasing in inflation results in decline in the purchasing power and if the investor is trying to invest the same amount then the market price decreases because now the demand for the stocks decreases similarly suppose now increase if due to an increase in inflation we all know whenever there is an increase increase in inflation the increase in inflation can be because of two reasons first because of any demand pull inflation what do you mean by demand pull demand pull factors means that the demand for a commodity be it any good or services is more than its supply and since because of the shortage of supply because there is more demand for the goods this results in increase in prices and second reason second obvious reason is that there can be uh, inflation 
because of increasing money supply that means you have the money you have the money but you do not have the adequate supply also this increase in money supply is not because of any economic growth economic growth ka kya matlab hota hai that in the economy production is also increasing and with the production people are purchasing and thereby increasing the money supply in the economy but aisa to kuch hai nahi this increase in money supply is not because of the economic growth but because of the induced benefit the the induced credit that the central banks across the world introduced during the pandemic period and this is the increasing money supply which is resulting in increasing prices of the goods and this is resulting in increasing inflation theek hai to ye do reasons ho sakte hain jiske wajah se inflation ho sakta hai now jab bhi inflation increase hoga it means money supply in the economy is more the the obvious step that the central bank takes and we have also seen in the context of india ki is liquidity ko absorb karne ke liye excess liquidity ko wapas lene ke liye what does the central governments do it comes out with its monetary policy intervention jahan pe the first thing that they do is increase the interest rate make money costlier theek hai to jab bhi inflation increase hoga the the central bank increases its policy rate and because of the increase in the policy rates the loans as well as the deposits interest rate also increases and since the interest on the loan increases now any company uh, taking loans for them the loan becomes costlier theek hai loan costly ho jati hai and since the loans are costlier now the company's cost of capital unki jo cost of capital hoti hai wo badh jati hai theek hai there is an increase in the cost of capital of the company and as we all know that the value of the firm the value of the firm is dependent on the projected future cash flows future cash flows pe dependent hota hai right value is dependent on ठीक है, the value is dependent on future cash flows. Since the value is dependent on future cash flows, and since the cost of capital is increasing, this future cash flow will decrease. जैसे ही future cash flow हमारी decrease होगी, this will result in the lower valuation of the equity. ठीक है, और जिसके वजह से our stock prices has been decreasing. ये रीजन आपको समझ आ गया फर्स्ट इज दैट ड्यू टू इंक्रीज इन इन्फ्लेशन आप परचेजिंग पार डिक्रीजेस सिंस आप परचेजिंग पार डिक्रीजेस वी आर एबल टू परचेज लेस नंबर ऑफ स्टॉक्स एंड देर फोर देर इज लेस डिमांड फॉर द स्टॉक एंड देर बाय डिक्लाइन इन द स्टॉक मार्केट सेकेंड रीजन इज दैट ड्यू टू इंक्रीजिंग इन्फ्लेशन द इंटरेस्ट रेट ऑफ द लोन्स इंक्रीजेस विच मेक्स द लोन कॉस्टलियर एंड इंक्रीजेस द कॉस्ट ऑफ कैपिटल फॉर द कंपनीज and this results in a lower valuation of the equity for the company and thus the stock decreases ye do reason ho gaya now talk about let's up, let us talk about the third reason now if there is an increase in inflation whenever there is an increase in inflation prices becomes volatile there are speculation in the minds of the investors and there can be broadly two types of investor now the first investor may think that since the inflation is increasing it is eroding or eating down my money right it is eating down your savings your wages your profit so what does this investor does is this investors tries to sell it in the market huge selling hoti hai whenever there is huge sell of the stock in the market it results in decreasing the price of the market theek hai now there is another type of investor investor b who is optimistic and he thinks ki jaise sab log bech rahe hain the prices has been decreased let me buy now and maybe in the future he he presumes he predicts that maybe in the future after 5 years i want the shares for a longer period of time after 5 years maybe the situation in the economy uh, may become good so what he does is he purchases the he purchases these stocks at this reduced price so there is a lot of volatility in the stock market because of the purchase and sell of shares by the investors having different different beliefs so all this results in a decline in the stock market and similarly due to an increase in inflation we have also seen that the in, there has been an increase in the bond yield price or the increase in the interest rates on the bond now this bond can be corporate bond as well as government securities so jab bhi there has been an increase in inflation why would people 
इन्वेस्ट या मनी इन बॉन्ड्स जब उनको उतना रिटर्न मिल ही नहीं रहा है सपोज दे नॉमिनल रिटर्न दैट दे आर गेटिंग ए सिक्स परसेंट एंड द इन्फ्लेशन इज नाइन परसेंट तो एक्चुअली दे आर इन अ लॉस दे आर हैविंग अ नेगेटिव ऑफ थ्री परसेंट रियल रिटर्न तो इसको कंपनसेट करने के लिए इन ऑर्डर टू कंपनसेट दी बॉन्ड होल्डर्स द गवर्नमेंट एज वेल एज द प्राइवेट सेक्टर प्रोवाइड्स इंक्रीजेज द इंटरेस्ट ऑन दीज बॉन्ड्स so that people are so that they they are able to lure the investors the bond holders to to provide the money to the government however jab bhi inflation increase hota hai it results in the bond price the bond yield yield mein increase ho jata hai now this increase in bond yield becomes costlier for the government or the company for example agar company borrow kar rahi hai pehle agar wo if it was uh, suppose it was borrowing at 6% now it has to borrow At least for a minimum of नाइन परसेंट तभी कोई अपना अपना पैसा किसी को डेट की तरह देगा सो दिस इंक्रीज इज द एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट और द प्राइवेट सेक्टर सो दीज आर द इम्पैक्ट एंड आई होप यू आर नाउ एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द लिंक बिटवीन दैम बॉन्ड से इन्फ्लेशन के वजह से बॉन्ड प्राइस इंक्रीज हो जाती है बॉन्ड यील्ड इंक्रीज हो जाती है एंड बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज इन बॉन्ड यील्ड बॉन्ड की जो फाइनल प्राइस होगी वो डिक्रीज हो जाएगा and increasing bond yield results in costlier debt which results in the expenditure agar hum government point of view se dekhein to expenditure increase ho jati hai government ki and this increase in expenditure results in the fiscal deficit or other deficit that the government faces in its domestic economy so everything is interlinked aapko holistically samajhna hai cheezon ko theek hai now if it talk, similar to what we have in india we have the monetary policy committee right so similar to the monetary policy committee the us has the federal open market committee and in order to control inflation in order to tame inflation which is at 9.1% exorbitantly high the the fomc the federal open market committee makes aggressive changes to the us monetary policy re reference rate that, that is their policy rate in order to bring down the inflation and their long term target is of 2% what is the limit for india i hope you all know our tolerance limit is 2 to 6% ideally 4 with a band of plus minus 2% so this is the limit for india and the long term target for the us the developed economy is टू पर्सन आई होप आपको ये समझ आ गया होगा नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द सोल्यूशन वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन वट मेजर्स कैन बी टेकन इन ऑर्डर टू टेम द इन्फ्लेशन इन ऑर्डर टू हैव रिड्यूस्ड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द इम्पैक्ट दैट इन्फ्लेशन विल कॉज ऑन द इकोनॉमी सो द फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट वॉट द गवर्नमेंट द गवर्नमेंट द सेंट्रल बैंक अक्रॉस नेशन डज इज इट इंक्रीजेज द इंटरेस्ट रेट so whenever you increase the interest rate you are actually making the loans costlier hai na so whenever you increase the interest rate you are trying to decrease the demand decrease the demand and by decreasing the demand only you can maintain the price stability but there is a flip side to this aur jab bhi dekhna hamesha there is an opportunity cost koi bhi aap policy utha lo any monetary policy or any monetary intervention you take there are two effects to aapko dekhna padega ki cumulatively kiski benefit zyada hai if we talk about increasing interest rate on account of increasing inflation aap kyun kar rahe ho taki loans costly ho jaye aur demand decrease ho jaye so that there is price stability and inflation in the long run decreases but there is a flip side flip side kya hai as we all know that we are facing the risk of recession as well as stagflation ab ye ekdam se kaise aa gaya आपने सुना होगा न्यूज में कि स्टैक फ्लेशन के कंसर्न्स हैं रिसेशन के कंसर्न्स हैं ये कंसर्न यहाँ से आ रहा है सिंस वी आर ट्राइंग टू इंक्रीज इंटरेस्ट रेट्स एवरी नाउ नाउ एन जब भी मीटिंग होती है ट्वेंटी जुलाई को भी यूएस uh, का जो मॉनेटरी पॉलिसी कमेटी है उनकी मीटिंग होगी तो सिमिलरली इंडिया की भी होती है एवरी ट्वाइस एवरी सेकेंड मंथ तो फिर क्या होता है इस केस में वेन यू आर इंक्रीजिंग द इंटरेस्ट रेट यू डिक्रीज यू आर ट्राइंग टू डिक्रीज द डिमांड and whenever there is a decrease in demand and there are supply side issues we have supply constraints this will result in increasing recession so the globally we can go into recession and once we go into recession it will be very difficult for the countries together to come out of it so we we have to judiciously see 
how much interest rates can we increase and what is the tolerance level so every country has their own tolerance level now if we talk about uh the uh, talk about the interest rates increase the policy rates that has been increased by the fed then last month that is in the month of 2022 the fed raised its policy interest rate by 0.75% this is huge okay and because of the 9.1% inflation this month that is the data that has been released this month there are expectations that it will further increase this by 100 basis point or 100 basis point bahut zyada hota hai theek hai to ye cheeze ye concern humko dhyan mein rakhna padega there is a uh, what we can say there is a flip side to everything either you can have you can control inflation or you can avoid having recession theek hai और भी बहुत सारे लिंक्स बनते हैं वो आप देखो समझो कैसे आप इन्फ्लेशन को ग्रोथ के साथ देख सकते हो राइट right? कि ग्रोथ और इन्फ्लेशन को कैसे बैलेंस करें सो देर इज ऑलवेज अ ट्रेड ऑफ ट्रेड ऑफ हमेशा आपको मिलेगी देर इज ऑलवेज अ ट्रेड ऑफ ठीक है मूविंग फॉरवर्ड नाउ वी हैव सीन द इम्पैक्ट इम्पैक्ट ऑन द यू एस इकोनॉमी द मेजर्स दैट कैन बी टेकन इन ऑर्डर टू कंट्रोल एंड मिनिमाइज द इन्फ्लेशन इन द यू and how judiciously and we need to see the trade off ki kitna increase karna chahiye nahi karna chahiye wo depend karta hai theek hai and now we will see the impact of the increasing inflation in us on the indian economy ab you must be you must heard you must have heard that we are very much concerned of any happenings that happen in the us jab bhi us mein interest rate increase hota hai ya fir inflation increase hota hai indians get worried hai na सिमिलरली हम हमेशा चेक करते रहते हैं कि हमारी करेंसी कितनी स्ट्रॉन्ग है इन कंपेरिजन टू री डॉलर्स जैसे अभी जो मेजर कंसर्न्स न्यूज़पेपर्स में या आपने अपने आसपास देखा होगा न्यूज़ इवेंट्स में चल रहा है इट इज द डॉलर अप्रिशिएटिंग अगेंस्ट द रुपी आर रुपी हैज वेंट टू अ होल लाइफ टाइम लो एट सेवेंटी नाइन पर डॉलर विच इज वेरी वेरी लो है ना एटी टच करने वाला है ये चीज़ so why is that any happenings any macro economic activity that happens in the developed nations affect a developing economy so the first thing that you should know is that in any of the emerging economies including india they tend to have a higher inflation rate as well as a higher interest rate unke yahan inflation aur interest rates hamesha higher hoti hain as compared to the developed nations so what investors the foreign institutional investors do is they want to earn returns theek hai ab aap return kaise earn kar sakte ho aur jab bhi aap international transactions karte ho there are two types of risk involved the first is the inflation risk theek hai inflation risk hoti hai and second is the exchange rate risk aur investors jab bhi invest karte hain ye dono cheeze ko weigh karte hain and they compare it with the interest that they are earning on any of the investments that they are making अगर इंटरेस्ट ज्यादा है इन दो रिस्क से देन दे इन्वेस्ट इन द डेवलपिंग कंट्री अदरवाइज दे पुल दे मनी बैक एंड द डिपॉजिट इन दे ओन कंट्री फॉर एग्जांपल सपोज नाउ वी हैव सीन सपोज देर इज अ मैन इन यूएस देर इज अ यूएस पर्सन एंड ही एक्सक्यूज मी ही बोरो सर्टन मनी फ्रॉम द यूएस फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन डॉलर ही कम्स टू इंडिया converts this $1 into rupees 80 for example <coughs> and invest this rupees 80 in the stocks of the indian company why would a person do so the person does this because of this factor because of higher interest rates india mein isko jo interest rate milega for example 10% milega however in us he must be getting around for example say 4% so the difference is 6 person theek hai isliye he is trying to invest in india now suppose is 6 person mein se inflation jo in dono ke beech ki inflation hai relative inflation is around 2 person suppose yahan pe 3 person tha aur yahan pe 5 person tha so relative inflation that is 5 minus 3 2 person hai uski jo real return milegi wo usko milegi around 4 person hai na suppose as we have seen that there has been accelerating increase accelerated increase in the inflation 
ऑफ यू एस ठीक है जिसकी वजह से वो अपनी इंटरेस्ट रेट्स इंक्रीज कर रहे हैं अब उन्होंने क्या किया फोर परसेंट से इंक्रीज करके सिक्स परसेंट कर दिया ठीक है और इंडिया में अभी जो इंटरेस्ट रेट है वो टेन परसेंट है एंड लेट अस अज्यूम दैट जो हमारा रिलेटिव इन्फ्लेशन है वो अभी टू परसेंट ही है ठीक है दोनों जगह इन्फ्लेशन बढ़ रही है तो रिलेटिव इन्फ्लेशन अभी भी टू परसेंट है नाउ द रिटर्न द नॉमिनल रिटर्न दैट दिस पर्सन विल बी अर्निंग विल बी नाउ फोर परसेंट जिसमें से टू परसेंट इन्फ्लेशन की अगर हम माइनस कर दें देन द पर्सन विल बी लेफ्ट विद ओनली टू परसेंट तो हमको क्या दिखने को मिल रहा है यहाँ पे दैट दिस इज दिस इज द वन फोर परसेंट एंड टू परसेंट That the differential interest rate that the person was earning has narrowed down, narrow हो गई है right? And because of suppose हमने तो positive figure लिया what what suppose यहाँ पे अब ये negative वन person हो जाता है Why would a person invest in a country जहाँ पे उसका पैसा खुद कम हो जा रहा है Suppose वो वन dollar लेके आया पर जब वो convert करके वापस जा रहा है he is getting less than a dollar because of obvious because of decreasing because of uh, increasing inflation as well as the increasing exchange rate risk so isko cater karne ke liye so this is the major impact that happens kyunki jitne bhi developed nations ke investors hote hain they try to invest in the developing countries in order to reap the benefit of the differential interest they want to take advantage of the differential interest and if this differential interest narrows down or becomes negative they pull their money back they pull their money and they take it to their own country theek hai and the entire trade that i talked about that is borrowing in the us converting it into rupees investing into india and earning the differential interest is known as currency carry trade if this happens if the differential itself narrows down then emerging countries like india becomes less attractive to go for this currency carry trade jiske wajah se jo hum india mein inflows aa rahe the jo forex inflows aa rahe the jo dollars aa rahe the the dollars that were coming to india will decrease and because of decrease in the dollars because of decrease in the dollar so dollars are decreasing theek hai hamara forex decrease ho raha hai second reason is suppose unhone kuch invest kiya and now they are getting negative return so what will happen is they will sustainable they will try to pull out their money and we have also seen that fpis have been trying to pull out their money we have seen a flight of capital from the indian capital market and this has resulted in because of flight of capital flight of dollar this has resulted in depreciating our uh, indian rupee our rupee and our rupee has become more weaker अब इस वीकर रुपी की भी प्रॉब्लम है तो प्रॉब्लम क्या है नाउ वी नीड टू पे मोर मनी इफ़ वी एक्स इम्पोर्ट समथिंग हमारा जो इम्पोर्ट है वो कॉस्टलियर हो जाएगा एंड वी इंडिया एज अ डेवलपिंग नेशन इज़ एन इम्पोर्टिंग कंट्री सो आर करंट अकाउंट डेफिशिट विल इंक्रीज एंड सिंस वी आर आर इम्पोर्ट्स आर कॉस्टलियर द कॉस्ट ड्रिवन इन्फ्लेशन इंक्रीज दैट इज़ वी आर इम्पोर्टिंग इन्फ्लेशन फ्राम आउटसाइड बिकॉज ऑफ अ वीक रुपी ठीक है जिसकी वजह से क्या होगा दैट जिसके वजह से इंडिया की जो इन्फ्लेशन रेट है वो फर्दर इंक्रीज तो ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स आर इंटर रिलेटेड और इसी वजह से वेन एवर देर इज एन इंक्रीज इन इंटरेस्ट रेट और इंक्रीज इन इन्फ्लेशन और एनी चेंजेस इन द मैक्रो इकोनॉमिक पैरामीटर्स इन द यू एस इंडिया इज ऑलवेज वरिड बिकॉज एवरी थिंग इज इंटरलिंक्ड इफ इफ द इंटरेस्ट हाई इफ देर आर हाई इंटरेस्ट रेट्स इन द यू एस people will pull out their money from the indian markets and invest in the government securities of us where they will be getting secured returns aur unko exchange rate risk bhi face nahi karna padega secondly jo unko differential mil raha tha interest rate differential mil raha tha between the developed and the developing countries agar wo negative ho jata hai they will not go for currency carry trade jiske wajah se forex flows dollar flows india mein decrease ho jayegi third since people will be demanding more money in order to take back the money they will be converting rupee the money that they have in the capital market they will pull out the money they'll convert the rupee into dollars jiske wajah se dollar ki demand badhti jayegi and our rupee will become weak theek hai jiske wajah se there will be depreciation of the rupee 
Fourthly, because of depreciation, imports price will increase, which will result in current account deficit. And this current account deficit will result in increasing inflation in the Indian economy. So this becomes very much devastating and these are the impacts of an increasing inflation rate in the US economy. So I hope you have understood. Now there are two in questions for you. Or you question read karo. Try to answer it in the comment section and try to give explanation. There are certain students who just answer lik hai, one, and on, one only, two only. Aise nahi hoga. Try to write the explanation in very short, in very short form or so that I can understand what is your understanding, what is your reasoning behind saying that option A is the correct answer or option B is the correct answer. Okay, so this question talks about inflationary gap. Naam se hi bahut clear hai. Agar aap achche se read karoge. And if you have listened to the discussion carefully, aapko samaj a jayega ki inflationary gap kisko bola jata hai. It is related to inflation. Okay, and the second question talks about retail inflation as to who of the following measures or makes the index of retail inflation in India and certain options are given to you. So this is all for today. I hope you like the session. And keep learning. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.